Hello and welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. In today's video, we'll take a look at Clip Studio Paint EX's extract line function, as well as a pro alternative, and a few of the ways it can be useful when making webcomics. Links to additional tutorials, as well as anything mentioned in today's video, will be down in the description below. If you're a frequent reader of webcomics and webtoons, then you may have noticed that many of them use assets to make drawing easier. It would be impossible for many artists to draw fully detailed backgrounds and objects for every panel and still release their work in a timely manner. So utilizing assets can be a great way for comic artists to save themselves time and energy, so they can focus those efforts on other parts of the comic. Oftentimes those assets are 3D models and backgrounds, stock materials, or photos. But it isn't always enough to just drop an asset into the background and call it a day. Instead, many comic artists use Clip Studio Paint EX's Extract Line feature to create line art and tones for their materials, which can then be colored and edited. Note that this feature is limited to the EX version of Clip Studio Paint only, so if this feature is something you'd like to check out, you can compare the different versions on the official Clip Studio Paint website. To use the Extract Line feature, go to the Layer Properties panel. In Clip Studio Paint EX, an icon of two overlapping circles will be here in the button lineup. Once you press the button, the Extract Line feature is able to scan your selected layer and create customizable line art from it. This includes the textures on the asset as well as its outer edge. By clicking Convert Layer to Lines and Tones, you can see how Clip Studio Paint will create those line art and tones. There are a few settings here you can adjust to get the effect you want out of your lines and tones, such as line width and posterization. I recommend always having the preview button checked so you can watch the changes to your work in real time. When the image looks how you want it, press OK. Clip Studio Paint will create a folder of all the layers it used, and everything in those folders is fully adjustable to your liking just like any other layer. By default, your liner will be set to monochrome expression color, so if you'd like to recolor the lines, I recommend switching your expression color back to color mode. If you're a Clip Studio Paint Pro user and don't have access to the Extract Line function, you can achieve a similar effect by going to Filter, Effect, Artistic. Note that this filter only works on rasterized layers, so make sure to flatten any 3D objects in advance before proceeding. Head to the dropdown and switch to Lines Only. Depending on the contrast of your art, you should be able to produce line art on a transparent background, just like you would with the Extract Line function. Adjust the sliders until you achieve the result you like. Now you have usable line art for your comic. For extra customizability, you can convert the layer to a vector layer by right clicking and going to Convert Layer, then switching the drop down to Vector. Now you can switch the line brush to match the rest of your comic. While this process requires a few more steps than EX's Extract Line function, it's still a perfectly viable option for those who would rather stick to Clip Studio Paint Pro. Those are the basics for how I use Clip Studio Paint EX's Extract Line function for creating line art for my webcomics, as well as the Pro alternative. In the next video, I'll cover some ways you can use Extract Line with other materials to make your webcomic process quick and easy. Check the description below for my social media links and links to more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.